Ever seen these intros where you seem to fly through a text mask to expose an underlying video? In this little tutorial, I'll show you how to do it with iMovie. So a while ago, I created this video on how to make a video mask with an animation using Keynote. And it's a, it's a great tutorial and uh, it's been real popular. The problem with it is the most common animation is a fly through the text animation. And uh, there's some inherent limitations in Keynote that prevent the techniques that I demonstrated in that video with making a fly through. So here we have Keynote on my desktop here and I have a green screen text mask just like I did in the prior video. And you can see that uh, the font size I have set at is 509 points. That's all well and good. That's a good starting point. But if I want to fly through that video, I need to make the text even bigger. So if I select it and try to make it bigger, you can see that it like cycles. Keynote isn't letting me make the text any bigger than about uh, 509 points. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to work around that restriction and create a fly through uh, text mask. First, uh, let's make sure, let's double check, make sure you have your slide size in as a widescreen, 16 to 9. Uh, if you don't do that, you're going to end up with the dreaded black bars on the side there. So you want to make sure that the aspect ratio of your keynote slide is the same as your iMovie video frame. We're good here. What we're going to do is we're going to take this keynote slide and we're going to export it to a PDF. Okay. Uh, make sure that you're using the best quality so you don't end up with any pixelization. And uh, we'll go ahead and hit next. And uh, we'll just store it in, the, in a file the same name as our slide here, expanding text mask uh, in my video production uh, folder. And yes, I, I already have one in here by the same name uh, from, caused by uh, a practice run. So now I have my PDF. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to get rid of my text and bring up the finder and there's my expanding text mask. Oops, it is a, there's the text mask. It is a PDF document, here it is. So we will just drag and drop that into our slide. And now it looks just like it did before, but you'll notice now uh, instead of having the text options, we have image options. Okay, so now this is coming in as an image. Uh, the next thing we want to do, and you'll see why in a second, is we want to um, zoom out here um, as far as we can possibly go. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, uh, shift command uh, less than, so you can see um, we are now zoomed all the way out. Uh, next, we're going to duplicate this slide. Command D duplicates the slide. And um, it looks like from my practice run, I still have uh, some animations in here. So let me get rid of that animation. So on the second slide, um, Go ahead and select your text and then zoom out as far as you possibly can. So, um, and make sure that when you do this, that, that the center of your frame in here is something that's eventually going to fill up the whole screen. So I'm gonna focus in the top part of this A here looks like uh, a great target for me to zoom in on. Um, and uh, so now I'm all set. So this is the first step. This is as far as I can zoom in this step. Uh, so now I'm gonna take this slide, I'm gonna duplicate it again. 
And now I'm going to crop it. So double click, we're cropping. And I'm going to crop it down to the size of my eventual slide. So now I'm gonna duplicate it again. And the reason we're doing two duplicates here is we're gonna use Magic Move. And Magic Move needs to have the same image with the same cropping uh, as it does its animation on both the beginning and the end slide of the Magic Move. So now this guy and this guy are perfectly identical. And now I can go in and zoom him out. Uh, went just a little too far. There we go. So now uh, this guy, let's check our animation. We're going to do a magic move six seconds long. And then uh, on this one, we're going to do a magic move uh, also six seconds long because we want a, uh, we're going to go for a 12 second animation. Um, and uh, one thing here I learned the hard way is you want to play with this acceleration here. On the second animation, you want to ease out because that's our ending. And on the first one, we want to do an ease in, okay? Make sure you have no delays on either of your animations. So we'll set this one to, uh, to zero. Automatically, zero. So now our animation should go from here to here to here to here uh, without any pauses. So let's export this as a movie. Self-playing, all slides. Let's get rid of any possible delays. Let's do it in 1080p. We'll hit next. And once again, we will go to expanding text mask. And we are now creating our movie. And if we bring up the finder, once this guy is all done, okay, here's our expanding text mask. It's a movie. Let's do a quick dry run here. And we can see it's zooming in, zooming in, zooming in. And now it's just shifted to the second zoom and we are zoomed all the way in. So I think that's pretty much what we wanted. I now have on my screen here uh, my finder with my expanding text mask that we just created in Keynote. And we have uh, a new iMovie project with one little strip in it here. That's uh, me hiking through the four pass loop near Aspen, Colorado. And this is going to be what we're going to use for our text mask. So we can just take this guy and drag and drop it as an overlay right on top of that file. And uh, you can see that uh, if we don't do anything, it's just overlays as a cutaway on top. All we need to do is go in and change this to a green or blue screen. Now, key point here, uh, I used uh, a green on my text in order to make this happen. Um, I didn't mention that earlier, but it's essential that you use a either a bright green or a bright blue color uh, as your text in order for uh, iMovie to do the green screen. It's uh, iMovie's working pretty hard at the moment rendering this. So if we press the space bar, there's our nice text mask. If we were to export this, it would be nice and smooth. It looks a little jerky because of iMovie's rendering. Um, but uh, uh, when we export it, it'll be perfectly smooth. Or if we wait a few minutes for iMovie to complete all of its background rendering, it'll be smooth. And you can see the uh, my mask here is a little bit longer than my main uh, clip, so I can just shorten this clip up here uh, to sit uh, even with that. And now I have a perfectly good intro. So this is how you do a fly-through text mask using iMovie and Keynote. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, helpful, 
Uh, please leave me a comment in the comment section uh, down below or click like or subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.